Hey guys, hello there. Today I am going to discuss about visual transformation in Jetpack Compose. So what is visual transformation? Let me explain. Suppose we have a text field for credit card number input. Often we see in various websites that the input credit card number is being formatted in a nice way. Maybe a hyphen or a space after every four digit. Similar examples may be price formatting, phone number formatting, etc. Visual transformation will help you to achieve these things. So let's see how it works. So first of all, you have to take a text field. Inside this text field, you have to have the visual transformation argument. Then you have to put the value. So this is just a lambda and inside this, you will have the annotated string that means the annotated string is being used inside this text field uh, you have the access of this annotated string then you have to apply the logic so here i have applied the logic inside the credit card so i have taken this example from developer.android.com so every visual transformation will have two major thing one is original to transformed and another is transformed to original so what are the roles of these two functions so basically uh, these two functions maps from original to transformed and transformed to original suppose the credit card number is 1234567890123456 but we want the formatting like five six seven eight nine zero minus sorry minus nine zero one two minus three four five six so you can see this is the original and this is the transformed so uh, the index of this one is zero so index of this one also zero but index of this digit 5 is 0 1 2 3 4 but index of this 5 is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so index of this same digit is different in this two form uh, in original for form the index is 4 and in the transformed form it is 5 so there should be a mapping from original to transformed and transformed to original you may ask why we need the reverse that means the transform to original actually whenever we want to uh, put the cursor or we want to delete or we want to remove the last one or uh, the custom one by pressing the backspace the system want to know where uh, is the original uh, so it need to map from transform to original so these two functions are very essential let me type here you can see i want to put the cursor after 8 but it's not taking after 8 it's taking after the hyphen actually so this is the reason we need this two mapping function so guys you can see i have collected a uh, few visual transformations like for credit card mobile number filter uh, one dot uh, i will show what they are actually the static one then the date visual transformation then date visual transformation in dd mm yyyy format then the thousand separator then price filter so let's see one by one so i have already uh, shown the credit card let me use the mobile number you can see uh, here it is a something like a placeholder let me type a phone number so i am typing the phone number still the placeholder is here so actually it is not a placeholder it is a annotated string 
it is helping us to guess how the formatting will be uh, it is for user experience so you can see after 1 2 there are a space after 3 4 5 there is another space after 6 7 there is another space so uh, this is the way I want to format the phone number. Let's see what is inside the mobile number filter. So this is the expected format of the transformed. So here it is the mapping original to transformed and transformed to original. You can see we are building a annotated string. Let me use the one dot now. So you can see uh, after entering every character there is a dot. There is a dot for every character. So this is the intention here. So this is the original to transform and transform to original. And this is the annotated string we are showing here. Now let's use the static one. You can see I am typing a number but it's showing the jetpack compose or a static thing. Let's see what it is showing actually. It's showing jetpack compose is great uh, for maybe 100 times if I type it will put this sentence for at most 100 times. Now let's see the date visual transformation so it is showing error let me see why it's showing the error so you can see date visual transformation is a object so we just copy it and we'll paste it here like this so this is another way of using visual transformation Let me type a date Let me see inside date visual transformation Now let me use this one It is showing again the error because it is a class so we have to have the constructor actually so this is the dd mm yy yy format let's use the thousand separator so we can see uh, this is uh, formatted with uh, decimal formatter with uh, comma but if I want to edit uh, inside then it will not allow now let's use this price filter this is a function so 
we have to again use something like this it is taking the string actually so it dot text will work you can see i can edit anywhere it is allowing to put the cursor anywhere but the former uh, we are not allowing so this is just a short collection uh, it can help you in many scenarios i will not uh, explain how to write your original to transform or transform to original here I will create a separate video for that because it is a complex uh, thing you have to understand why or how this works actually how to um, craft the logic so I will create a separate video for uh, crafting this logic so this is just a collection of visual transformations let me uh, show few inbuilt transformations like password visual transformation you can see it is uh, behaving like a password field we can use another thing like visual transformation dot none it will do just nothing actually because uh, we have used none so none means uh, transform text identity that means the original and the transformed will be exactly same so uh, i hope this video uh, can help you a lot uh, thanks for watching